What's poppin' yo, welcome back to another YouTube video, and today we're taking a look at another news video, and this news video is all about Winnie the Pooh Blood and Honey 3. Winnie the Pooh Blood and Honey 2 is a movie that I'm going to watch fairly soon, and I'm going to do a film review on the channel, so do stay tuned for that. But, as of right now, at the time of me making this video, it has a 100% to an 84% on Rotten Tomatoes, and that is good. That is good for a movie. And to say the last one, like Winnie the Pooh and Honey One, that only had like a three to four percent on Rotten Tomatoes. So that is low, really fucking low. And this is like a dramatic difference. And because of that, they've already greenlit Winnie the Pooh Blood and Honey Three. However, that doesn't fit into their sort of Winnie the Pooh and the Multiverse of Monsters or whatever, or Winnie the Pooh monsters and honey whatever that doesn't fit into that storyline so it must take place after the winnie the pooh one or the team up one with bambi alice in wonderland uh peter pan pinocchio and a couple of others i do believe i'm not too sure but winnie the pooh blood and honey 3 is coming so do be aware of it these films are not going anywhere and it does have a much bigger budget than the first two films combined. So with that, it should have a lot better special effects. Should should be able to afford a lot better cast of characters. Maybe could even afford Rabbit in here as well, because he's the other one that we haven't seen, as well as Eeyore. However, I do believe he ate Eeyore and Rabbit in the first one. However, I could be wrong. My Winnie the Pooh blood and honey knowledge is not that good. It is not up to date. I'm going to be honest. The lore of these films are not worth taking a look at. But other than that, I hope you all enjoyed. See you all next one. Have a nice day, and let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. Alright, bye-bye.